Hey everybody, I'm out here at Deer Scout with my brother. We got a new piece of property we're allowed to hunt on. My brother got permission from it for bear hunting. And right behind me, a little corner of some trees. I'm thinking about taking my stand out from uh, the one I have way out in Power Bank, um, watching that bog, because I really haven't had any luck over there. And uh, watching this area here. This is an area, you know, being disabled, you gotta find an area you can get to quietly and uh, without making a lot of noise and, you know, access and stuff like that. So it's not as easy as being able to walk for miles. I can barely, I can maybe walk a hundred yards with the, right now. And when it's cooler out, you can walk longer. You have this, not just clothes on, but when you set, when you're cold weather clothes and you take about 10 steps and you're sweating to death, can't do that. So let me show you what I got right here. Back there, I got a maple tree. If I could tuck that tree stand in there, be a great little spot to tuck it in. And you could overwatch this trail right in here. Nice little run right there. And another one, this is where it came from this way. There's another trail cross right up by that tree that's going across the, the lane. My brother went down in there, put a tree stand in. So there's a pond down there and an apple tree and stuff way down. But I could overlook this area and this is not too far. And there was deer scat and moose scat along the way coming in here. But yeah, to watch that once all the leaves are gone, you'll be able to see in there better than that, but definitely you can see the trail running right through there already. We'll see. Just trying to narrow down where I want to hunt for the first day. You got to go through quite a bit of a, you know, a weeding out sort of things. Um, you did see I had that stealth trail camera way out, uh, past some swamps and stuff out there. And uh, that was all mostly moose. There was a couple of doe on it. So I kind of narrowed that down. I won't probably hunt out there this year. Uh, especially with fuel prices, you got to really narrow stuff down and, you know, pick out just a few spots and then trying to stick with them. Uh, you did see another one right across the row where I am at now, but a different spot than I am right now. Uh, that had three different bucks and stuff, so that, that is a good contention. That might be the first first day. Uh, I'm gonna check this stand here, uh, make sure it's still secure to the tree and stuff. I've We've had to do one at camp, loosened right up, so we had to fix that. Actually put a new ratchet strap on it too, because that one was, the one that was on it was uh, somehow it, rusted or something and was no good so we put a new strap on that i'm gonna go look at this one now and see what's out there um it's, it's a lot of refining you gotta do every year something's different you know see where the animals are and where they're not and uh go from there um i'll give you some footage when i get out here i got my 22 with me in case i see any grouse or anything out here but uh yeah take the crutches and hip hop on over there well i made it to the stand Feels pretty secure to the tree, but I'm gonna go up there just to make sure it's facing out that way. Still got a lot of leaves on the ground. Come from that direction, down that hill, around here. Crutches there, point two there. I'm gonna attempt to get up there just to sit for a few minutes. A little bit windy today. Well, back up here in the tree. Tree stand. See down below, I can barely tell. <laughs> so many leaves still. I can still see my area that I need to, I'm gonna be hunting pretty well, but. Uh, 
to be a lot better once the leaves are gone. This stand's still pretty secure. Um, it's pretty windy today. It reminds me of the first day I was hunting last year on this stand. It's like a carnival ride going back and forth. Still a lot of foliage up on the tree there, so it's catching a lot of wind. But definitely got to do that. One thing you want to do before deer season, you know, preferably, you know, two or three weeks before, which is right about now, check all your stands, make sure they're all secure, everything's tight, nothing's rotten, nothing's being chewed up by a squirrel or something. Safety, of course, I'm up here with no safety harness, which is stupid. <laughs> I need to buy one and do it. Uh, but uh, yeah, and also checking on the in my my string I have to pick up my um, gun and stuff, so I have to bring those up with me. All that seems to be fine. So I'm just gonna sit here for a little bit. Let me uh, get you a little uh, shot of what I'm looking at. Down there, you can see the trail going through both center screen down there. Every time I come here, I have a little acorn on the seat. I wonder where the oak tree is. I think there's one right there, a small one. Looks like oak leaves. Cause I know for sure there's a big one over there. It's, I can see the leaves way up. It's behind these ones that we're looking at right now. It's in the background a little bit. But this year, I haven't seen a lot of apples. Hopefully the oak tree will come up and drop some acorns, but I don't know. We'll see, I guess. I always wanted to put a food plot down there, but I'll make a mock scrape soon. Have that out there, close to the deer season. See how that goes. I think I'll be out here with my 30-30 that when I remade, or oh, I redid. That'd be a perfect gun for out here. Not very far and it's really accurate. The only problem is facing east, that sun's right in your eyes in the morning. So, be a better evening staying because of the sun, but this, I believe this goes to a bedding site, so kind of one way or the other. Sit here and be quiet and see what happens. Headed back out of that tree and back on my foiler now. Just um I think I'm gonna go back up up the road and check on that spot I wanted to put the ground blind, but I decided I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna sit there. That's where the, the three different bucks were. Just gonna try and poke around in there and try and find a place that you know makes sense to sit and watch that travel corridor. Um, cause that looks like that might be where I'm sitting. My brother and I did scout down the road a little bit further and some, found some spots out there, but I'd have to take my tree stand from, uh, way out in Biobank where we have that and move it out there. And, uh, I'm not sure if we got a lot of time to do that right now or not. We'll see. Uh, I still gotta do some more scouting out there. My brother showed me a couple more roads I should check out and, uh, we'll see how that goes, I guess. But we're narrowing it down. Well, I'm out here scouting around where I uh, had uh, three different bucks and stuff on um, a trail camera. And there's just a maze of trails all through here. Right over here is the tote road that I had the camera on. And this is the back side where I said that it was a trail was coming right out by my camera. And the moose and the bear and everything else went through here so there's tracks trails everywhere i'm just trying to figure out where i can sit i gotta park the foil of somewhere that's away hopefully and then um try and tippy toe in here with my crutches <laughs> be quiet about it and not try and work up too much heat it's a problem 
right now I'm walking around with not a whole lot of clothes on. I mean, but uh, during deer season, you know, you gotta wear a dress warm with crutches and stuff and being disabled here, I, with my warm clothes on, I can't walk very far without getting really, really hot. So that's one thing you gotta consider when you're looking for places. That's why I can't go very far from a vehicle. It just create too much heat, which will make you sweat and a deer smell you and the game's over. But yeah, let me show you what I got out here. There's a trail going right through there. Another trail coming through there. It goes this way and that's a little tote road. Right up there about, I don't know, 30 yards probably. Here's where I'm coming from. Another trail. Pool is down at the end of that. Kind of thinking on hiding right under this cedar patch here. If I can watch that way. Something comes by. And also watch this trail here and that trail there see appear to come this way and go that way but I'll do a little bit more snooping around see what I come up with I'm sitting on the ground right here I see the tree I can lean against Right over there, that's where the tote road is. That I had all the trail camera game on. Right over here, see the game trail. There's another one over here too. I don't know. Kind of hidden here pretty good, tucked away a little bit. I just like this tree behind me. I was looking at some cedars over there, that spot I talked about a minute ago, but there's too much stuff in the way to be able to see down here. So, I think this is better. I'll be able to still see if something's coming through there. And I can see something coming through there. And probably hear something coming from behind me. <laughs> so, trying to find the best spot. This is not a bad little spot right here. I do like, you know, lean against a tree just so you're nice and quiet and still. It helps a lot when you don't want to move much, you know. So this might be my spot. Let me show you the bird's eye view from. I'll switch the camera around. Right up there. Cedar, cool to get a ladder up to sit up in that, but it's just too obscure up there. I think you see better on the ground than you would up on a tree stand around here. Well, as you can see, <laughs> still a lot of leaves out on the woods right now. I'm trying to narrow down things. Um, kind of stinks being disabled because you know, you're, you're, you're very limited to your range. Uh, disabled and also elderly, I'm sure as well. You know, you still want to get out here and hunt. It's just uh, <laughs> it's a lot of sifting through to find a place that you know able-bodied people will just pass to find a better spot. Hopefully. You have a chance at something. It takes a lot of fortitude to keep going when you can't do what you used to be able to do, and you, you know you don't have the best place. You know you're you're settling for far for you know far less than what you, know, you should. Being a you know 
this leaves me with four wheeler. I have to drive the four wheeler to get someplace. So you're making that noise and you you know damn well that it would be far better if you didn't have a four wheeler and you could be a lot more quiet getting in, but you know, you don't have much choice. So, <laughs> so that's a lot of times I like to sit with the truck and have a long range area. You know, the truck quiet in the four wheeler. See you out on a dirt road somewhere and you know, have a long range gun. Uh, you can play the wind also as well. This area is going to be pretty tight with the wind. It's just not a lot of range anyway, so you got to be really quiet. And I got to walk in here as slowly as possible and try and stay as uh, you know cool as possible. Don't overheat, start sweating. But it's something better than not being able to hunt at all. We'll see what we can get, I guess. Just doing some more scouting here. I uh, still got a bad cold. Uh, I've been trying to lay down, lay low a little bit, and take plenty of medication. I've been on like two bottles of Nyquil, working on number three and four coming up, day versus nighttime stuff. Getting better slowly. I'm trying to get healthy for deer season. But uh, got youth day coming up on um, Saturday. I might take Jameson out, depending on if his dad gets back from the moose hunt or not. So far, uh, they haven't gotten anything. They had a chance at one yesterday, they said, but lost out on it somehow. I don't know the details. They'll sort of let us know when, when they come home. But I uh, found a nice little spot out here. I'm doing some scouting on uh, new land where my brother and I are able to get some permission to hunt on. It's a paper company. It's like, I don't know, 1,300 acres or something like that. There's some nice hardwood ridges and some old, old stone walls through here. Pretty nice. Let me show you what I got. Here's some new area we got some permission to hunt on. Like 1,300 acres of paper laying. Or some, somebody owns this. I guess my brother got permission for him and I. There's an ancient stone wall there. And there's another stone wall on the opposite side of the stream on the right hand side over there next to the big dead trees. I parked my four wheeler there for a few minutes. I'm trying to find some places I can park the four wheeler and get it out of people's view so it's not. You know, within human view to mess with while I'm hunting. Now, this is a beautiful spot here. I'll be heading that way in a minute. This is upstream here. It goes uphill a little bit. I came from right over that way, that trail. So I'm on a trail now, an ATV trail. I don't know if it's going to go to somebody's blind or bear bait if it connects onto the dirt road. I surmise it connects onto a dirt road going this way, but I'm not sure. We'll see. But this is a pretty promising little area. Well, I'm out here at my uh, probably best contended place for uh, possibly hunting for the first day. Had uh, three, at least three different bucks. And some does, a moose, a bear, everything on this trail cameras probably about a month ago <clears throat> so this is my possible scenario here i just got to pay attention to the weather uh i gotta look uh for my wind direction they say um south southwest wind on saturday i checked the weather saturday's gonna be a sunny day um low of 31 high of 59 so it's gonna be a little bit on the warm side but it's going to be cooler than it is now. It's been almost 70 in the six, high 60s or well, mid 60s anyway today in the last few days. But I got cool air coming in tonight. <clears throat> so Friday will be actually high of only 53 on Friday and like 38 at night. <clears throat> so it'll be a little bit cooler on Saturday morning. So that might be a good thing. The south southwest wind. This is east. Wind's coming from the southwest. It'll be over that way, blowing in this direction. So if I sit over there, it might be as long as the deer aren't coming from over here, but if they're going this way or coming from back that way, it might be a good spot. But I'm still contemplating on going to KI, that long range area I got way out there. Be a good place to use a seven millimeter M to Magnum and try uh, my hand at that. I may do the seven millimeter M to Magnum long range hunt in the morning and go up to the tree stand there in the in the more in the afternoon for the afternoon hunt. Uh, that way I can just see myself getting into the woods and I can lay some scent down. 
Because me trying to walk with crutches in the dark and then trying to lay scent down and then try and get back, it's just <laughs> not, the, not the best thing to do. But those are the things you got to pay attention to. So the first day, I was, you know, sorry, I'm not showing you exactly where I'm going the first day. I'm sure probably a few people are expecting that, you know. Well, where are you going? So, well, all depends on the weather. I mean, it should for anybody who's got you know, worth their salt and for hunting at all is pay attention to the weather coming right up to the day. Know your positions where you'll be sitting in, in each of your uh, contemplated places and then try and go from there and see which one is the best place that you think you have the best chance with the wind in your favor and the scent and, uh, you know, also what you may have had on trail camera and stuff like that if you've gotten that done too. Just to, you know, give yourself the best odds, so to speak. Um, I had ordered something that I can cover my four wheel with, but it's not supposed to come till the first it's kind of like a military cover with a net underneath it. <clears throat> All those, I see a bunch of other ones, and they're only like five feet wide by ten feet long. The ten feet long would probably cover my foil, but the five feet wide with this big thing on the back there, it's not going to go to the ground. So this one, I finally found one, is nine and a half feet wide by thirteen feet long. So that should work. <laughs> there, you got my fingers crossed. Hope it shows up on, what, Monday? The first will be Tuesday, I believe, so. Hope it shows up for that, and then I'll have that so I can cover this four-wheeler. I just worry about, you know, four-wheeler, everybody seeing it or shooting at it because it's white, and I think it's a white tail or something. I don't know. No, my last one was camouflage, and I wish I had bought a camouflage one, but when I bought this, you couldn't find a four-wheeler anywhere, and I needed one because I just sold my brute force, and I needed a four-wheeler. I don't really like living without one that I do so much work with them. Being disabled, that just come in handy for plowing and pulling logs and everything for me. So, well, that's that. Um, we'll see what happens the first day. Hopefully, I have a good video for you. And I appreciate you all watching. Thank you.